Hey loves, Kim here, and I'm back with another episode of Let's Play The Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle. So hey you all, Kim here and I am back with another video. If this is your first time on the channel, I just would like to say welcome. Hi, my name is Kim. I am a Sims 4 gamer and we are back with the Eco Lifestyle Let's Play here. Tomorrow is Mr. Kingsley's birthday. Oh my goodness, Mr. Kingsley is getting older. I'm super excited just to see what life holds in store for him. He's going to be able to be more independent. Why am I up so high? I I don't understand you guys I don't understand anyway <laughs> there we are so we need to go ahead and open up this restaurant um, I've been playing a couple of days off camera just to try to get everything on track with that and uh, we also have another freelance gig I've been doing freelance gigs in between time just to keep up with the bills we gave a lot of our employees promotions and we've been getting quite a few five stars but our overall star rating is still oh it's five okay it's four and a half stars so we're definitely moving on up in the world so let me put this on pause real quick let me get myself oriented um it's going to be rainy today even though it is winter time we are almost in spring time you guys so we are about to come up on a new season. I'm sure Anita is going to be hitting her third trimester really, really soon. And I just want us to be successful. It seems like our sign, is it off or is it broken? Okay, it's broken. I'll fix that in just a second. But let me go ahead and just manage all of my employees. I've been trying my best to keep everyone pretty satisfied. I think right now only one of my employees are unsatisfied, with, which is Zoe. Everyone else is neutral. I think that is a pretty good feat. And it just shows um, de Grayson's dedication um, during our time off camera. So yeah, we, we've we been doing better. Um, let me go ahead and just get into some of our finances. So... The past couple of days, um, I've been in the red, but my main focus is to get up our perk points because we want to get some of those big ticket item perks such as well managed so things can go pretty good while we're not here. Um, I don't see the previous um, financial report, so I'm sorry I can't show that to you guys. But uh, we have been in the red, but we have been almost breaking even. So we haven't been losing a lot of money, but that's just between me giving everyone a raise and um, me not spending those perk points on uh, food discounts yet. So I'm just trying my best to maintain. And fortunately, the fact that Grayson does have freelance work coming in pretty steadily, we're able to take the hit without it affecting us too badly. And obviously we've been paying down our loan. So at this point, how much more do we have left? So according to this, we have just over 19,000 left. So, I mean, we've gotten it down quite a bit. We started off with um, 50K as far as our loan, but you know, we're just going to try our best to keep up the momentum. But yeah, you guys, I hope everyone is doing well. And it looks like most of the snow has gone. So yeah, spring is definitely coming. Um, Kingsley's birthday is tomorrow. Let's check out our calendar. Yeah, so Kingsley's birthday is tomorrow. What's going on today? Meet a celebrity. Where's that at? Orchard of Go-Go. Oh no, we're not worried about that. Kingsley's birthday and then Love Day is Friday, Saturday. There's a talent showcase, which we're not going to worry about. And then what is this? Oh, a bit of spring cleaning. So I think maybe over the weekend we'll actually get into um, getting rid of those chairs and seeing how much money we can get back from the bus and starting to get that together before the baby comes. But anyway, you guys, I'm just going to focus my attention on the restaurant, making sure that we greet everyone. We're being as efficient as possible. And my main thing, like I said, I want to get those perk points. So currently we have... 
4,420 perk points, you guys. I have been busting my butt. <laughs> we have been open for long hours. Grayson has just been really proactive. This is the goal right here, and we're so close. We're only 80 perk points away from being well managed. Um, and we're gonna have to continue to work hard to get the small discount in the food, which is 1,800, and then get the larger discount so we can save the money. But yeah, you guys, I am just feeling really, really good. I'm feeling really, really good. I feel like um, I think it might make more sense for me to get the small discount first. I know I totally came in here ready to get the well managed because I knew that we were just super close. But I think Grayson is going to have to pull his weight around here a little bit longer because we definitely need to get the discount for those um for those ingredients so you know what we'll go ahead and get that perk point right now and i want to make sure i actually get the right perk point so let's see ingredient discount small permanently lowers the cost of ingredients by a small amount so yes we'll go ahead and redeem that right now and we're just going to have to work hard to get back up to 4,500 points so we can go ahead and be well managed. But I think I think this is going to help us more immediately um, because Grayson needs to be here in, in order to um, earn those perk points. So we might as well utilize the ones we have to save ourselves a bit of money. But I don't know. I think I pretty much welcomed everyone. I guess I can go ahead and just start giving out praise. You know, I definitely want to keep my employees happy. And also, I kind of want my restaurant to be five stars before I just leave it um, unmanaged. It looks like a lot of people are caring for our plants for us, <laughs> which is really, really good. And um, we also got green initiative, so we should definitely be seeing some more greenery pop up within the next week. So I'm super excited for that. And that's actually right on time for spring. All right, everybody, y'all are crowding by the door. Let's get some people in seats. I wish that we could hire a second host, but we can only hire one host, which is kind of strange to me. But I am super excited to get the family back in one household again. Hopefully by the next episode, we can be working on to that um, or at least making some great strides to that. So we'll just have to see. Why is George running around <laughs> like a chicken with his head cut off? All right, let's go ahead and check up on this table over here. Yes, we got another five star, you guys. We have been doing the darn thing. Five stars over here. Where is your parent, sweetie? I guess we'll check up on her table. Hopefully she has an adult or somebody here with her. Yes, we got another five star. We are doing the darn thing, you guys. I, I I love this. I love this. Like, I feel like our hard work is paying off in another five star review, you guys. You see this? We are good. <laughs> we are definitely in the money. There are a lot of elders out here. I don't know if there's like some sort of deal, but like literally every single customer we have right now is an elder. I mean, and hey, more power to y'all. It's just something I noticed. I've never seen that before. Usually our crowd is pretty mixed. But hey, as long as y'all got money to spend, you are welcome here. You know what? I also think I want to take a couple of minutes to fix the sign outside. I feel like that's really messing with our ambiance. Let me go ahead and check on my summary so far. So right now we have a net profit of negative three simoleons. But um, we can improve with our meal quality and personal touch, but our service is a one. Okay, while Grayson is fixing that, I'll just make sure that everyone is being taken care of. Oh, mom's here. Hey, mom. It's been a while since we've seen Grayson's mom. Oh, and Owen is here too? Hey, dad. <laughs> All of Grayson's parents are here, essentially. Only thing we're missing is Miss Deb. Oh, great. And we have a toilet broken. Okay, well, George, either you're going to fix the toilet or you're going to have to get out of the bathroom. Let me go ahead and lock that. And Grayson can just fix that a little bit later on. And it looks like we have a couple of customers looking for recommendations. So as soon as they sit down, Grayson is going to be all on it. And we always recommend our special baby. <laughs> 
So he's going to get a lemon honey ginger detox tea and our world famous butternut squash soup. Easy 128 simoleons in the bag. Everyone is doing push-ups too. Like literally everyone is doing push-ups. Um, I noticed that Grayson has put on a couple of pregnancy pounds. Um, <laughs> so um, I think the Rock Your Body and Your Mind um, initiative is active in Evergreen Harbor or at least in Port Promise. So I want to have Grayson start working out as well. Okay, good. She sat down. Perfect, perfect. Let's go ahead and recommend a dish to her. And she can get herself a buffalo wing tea with our world famous soup. Um, I'm not sure exactly what freelance gig we have right now. I think he has to make some candles. Yes, he has to make three candles. I think we've already done one, but we have to start our shift here at the restaurant. Oh, we got some more customers who are new in here. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Let me go ahead and disallow new customers. Yes, disallow new customers. Oh my gosh, because we will be here all night if we don't. Mom, you gave us a four star. Come on, you're supposed to give us a five, girl. <laughs> Grayson is starting to get a little hungry, but he's just going to have to hold off. Is there anybody else that needs a recommendation? I don't think so. I think everyone is good. And the herbs that we have been growing are actually doing pretty doggone good. So I'm hoping to be able to use those blackberries in our um, juice fizzing business. Yes, another five star. We are doing awesome, you guys. I guess he loves the recommended dish. Ooh, looks like we're gonna need a, um, another recommendation here in just a moment. Let me go ahead and check up on my business stats. So right now, we're actually not in the red. <laughs> Sorry to bother you, but I heard what a great person you are. I'm not interested. I mean, honestly, I would love for Grayson and the Stamper family in general to be able to get to a point where we can be more charitable. It's just right now, we just don't have the money. We don't have the money. I'm so sorry. We just don't. We got another five star. Thank you, Grandpa Owen. Thank you for looking out. <laughs> and the fact that George is like running around. Oh, no. Who dropped the food? Okay. Well, we're just going to have to throw that away. Darn it, y'all are in here wasting food. Hopefully we can get out here by nine. If not, I'm just gonna have to shut down anyway because I don't wanna be in the red again. I really don't. But I think that meal discount is actually the reason why we're not in the red now that I think about it. I know she's not exactly happy with our wait time. Eventually we may need to get a third um, server, but for now I think we're okay. All right, and as far as our business stats, so cost of ingredients, 333 simoleons. Uh, that's actually pretty average. Maybe that won't kick in until tomorrow. Wages owed 889 simoleons. Advertisement cost, 53 simoleons. We made a meal profit of 1,206. Total sales, 1,540. And for a net profit, that goes home to our pocket of 254 simoleons. Ooh, you guys, that was a lot. I'm going to go ahead and have Grayson clean up here, and I'm going to see you guys in just a bit. All right, you guys, so it is a little bit after midnight, and Grayson is feeling sad from missing his family. I always feel so bad for Grayson when he misses his family, but we will be seeing him soon for Kingsley's birthday, and we should be all back together pretty soon, fingers crossed. While Grayson isn't too tired, we are in the yellow, but I think we can push it. I want Grayson to work on completing those candles for that freelance job. I'm not quite sure how much this one pays out. Yeah, it's supposed to pay out 1,055 simoleons, so we definitely need to get this out. Honestly, this has been the reason why we've been able to even think about giving our employees a raise, so we have to keep this work going in order to afford the restaurant at this point. But hey, Grayson is willing to do the work. I mean, it is hard work, but it's gonna be worth it in the end. He's starting to get kind of uncomfortable. We do have until Saturday to complete this. I just try to finish my gigs as quickly as possible possible so I could go ahead and sign up for new gigs and I also just want to improve Grayson's fabrication skills because the higher our skill the better jobs we can accept no 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 oh gosh um why can't I make that actually what do I need to purchase for that okay 
Okay, so we need more bits. Make candle. Let's go ahead. I'll let Grayson sleep. <laughs> I'm going to let Grayson sleep, and I will see you guys in the morning. Tag team back again. So it is the next morning. Kingsley's birthday is today. We got the restaurant open, but I think I'm going to disallow customers around 1 or 2 p.m. I just want to make sure that we have enough time to spend with Kingsley during the daytime. So actually, I might close the doors at, ooh, maybe 1 Maybe definitely one so I can get out here maybe like by three or four. And then we'll be able to hang out with Kingsley and the family, you guys. I'm so excited for Kingsley. Oh, my gosh. So we'll go ahead and we'll just praise her. Let me go ahead and check on all of my employees. So everyone is feeling neutral except for Zoe. Zoe, there is no pleasing you. Okay, our, <laughs> our loan has been taken out. Uh... Zoe has been holding down the fort. I just, I can't afford to pay you more yet. I can't, afford, I can't afford to pay you more yet, but we'll just go ahead and try our best to welcome everyone, keep all of our employees in good spirits, and um, just keep driving this restaurant until we can afford to have it well managed without us. So it looks like we are about, mm, we're actually less than a thousand perk points from that. We're about 740 perk points away from that. So I'm just going to push and give it my all. Obviously, I don't think I'm going to be able to earn 700 and some change perk points today. But hopefully by the next episode, we can leave this place well managed. Or actually, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. So let me know in the comments. Do you think that we should focus on getting the well-managed trait or a perk so we can do more without being physically here at the restaurant, basically making money while we sleep, essentially? Or do you think I should um, focus my perk points on some of the other options? Let's go ahead and get into what we have. Oh, we got a lifestyle. Okay, I'm going to read that in just a moment. So... If I don't get the well-managed perk, basically what the well-managed is lowers the chance of bad events happening on the restaurant while your sim is away. So we can have it open and less things bad are about to happen. So we can do that. Um, we purchased a small discount for ingredients. So we could put that perk points towards getting the large ingredient discount. We can do that. Uh, we could do well-funded foodies. So they're more likely to choose some more expensive items. So that's more money coming in. Or we can do fast eaters because I've been noticing that the customers, they do take a while to kind of eat. So we can do that and they go a little bit faster. So let me know which one would you choose if you have have any other perks that you would suggest that we get let me know but I definitely think it's right now either between getting the large ingredient discount being well managed getting the well-funded foodies or the fast eaters but definitely let me know so we got a new lifestyle so it says lifestyle gained Grayson has unlocked the people person lifestyle visit the lifestyle section of the Somology panel to find out more about this lifestyle let's go so people person Sims living a people person lifestyle have an easier time building and maintaining a large friend group, sometimes at the cost of connecting with those friends. To acquire or maintain this lifestyle, a sim should have four or more friends. Lifestyle effects. Keeps lower relationship levels friends easier, but struggles to keep good friends or higher. Ooh. Okay, various benefits from interacting with three or more friends at a time or when making a new friend. Less likely to gain long-term sentiments with friends. Wow, okay. Greater need to be social. Tense when friend groups contains fewer than four sims. So basically they're saying that Grayson needs to be with people all the time. Oh gosh. So... I don't know. I don't know how that's going to pan out for us, but that is the lifestyle that we've earned based on having to interact with people all of the time. But I don't know. For now, I'm just going to try my best to manage this restaurant, and that is the main thing on my mind. And again, with the push-ups. <laughs> But we're building those perk points back up. We're already almost back to 4,000 perk points. So we're doing the darn thing, you guys. 
All right, I don't know why everybody's standing around here. This is why I wish we could get like a second hostess. It's like even if I had a second hostess stand, we can only hire one hostess per restaurant. Okay, I've pretty much greeted everyone. So I guess in the meantime, Grayson wants to die for deals. Not in your work clothes, Grayson. You're dealing with food. No. Oh my gosh. Okay, get out of there. I guess since our hands are already dirty, we'll go ahead and feed these grubs. It's still disgusting. I really don't like the squiggly grubs, but hey, we definitely have to make this work. I don't know what clean insect farm means. I think that means like get rid of them. But we'll go ahead and nurture them. And then after that, Grayson, please wash your hands. We just need customers and seats. Oh, okay, Baco needs a recommendation. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Recommend dish, please. I think Baco is more of a, he's more of a buffalo wing tea guy with some beautiful soup. I think Billy would be good with some, um, I think she would like some apple juice, sparkling apple juice, only the best. And then we'll get her some of that soup as well. Um, Gideon, uh-uh. Are you kidding me? This is unacceptable. Because you can leave my restaurant, little boy, making this mess. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Kids don't make messes like this in real life. Not while they're out. I've never seen that. Ooh, another five star, you guys. We are doing awesome. So, you guys, I think I want to go ahead and let Grayson handle things here. I'm trying to get everyone's food out as soon as possible, but we're going to have to shut this down very, very soon. And um, hopefully Anita or somebody at the Lewis household has made a cake for Kingsley. But anyway, it's after 4 o'clock. I'm going to wrap up here, and I will see you guys in just a bit. All right, you guys, so we have made it to the Cosmic Llama bowl -a rama and um, it looks like Deb is going to go ahead and get us some seats. And Mr. Kingsley got him a little haircut for his birthday. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Our baby boy is growing up so fast. And I can't wait for him to become a child, you guys. So you know what? We're just going to go ahead and make funny faces. And then we're also going to let Kingsley play in the ball pit. And not everyone could make it. Um, but Robin was able to make it along with Kaylee. So that's definitely nice they came a long way from Windenburg just to celebrate Kingsley's birthday so I think that's just super sweet I need to go ahead and pick him up it's already about to be eight o'clock but basically um grandma Janet she wasn't feeling well and um it looks like everybody is sitting down we got a couple of balloons out oh my goodness our baby boy is growing up we'll go ahead and pull this cake out of Kingsley's I'm sorry out of Anita's inventory so, I mean, this is going to be awesome, you guys. Awesome, awesome. Where is the birthday boy? Okay, so he's making his way up. I'm kind of mad nobody picked him up and brought him here, but Kingsley's independent, so I guess he just wanted to do it himself. And I guess the girls would play with Kingsley, or maybe they'll just sit around and watch him. Actually, no, they wouldn't. They would be doing their own thing, let's be honest. The girls are like, you know, Kingsley, we love you, but we want to play some arcade games. So I guess they will go ahead and just play. And maybe we can play with Kaylee and our sissy. Perfect. But, you know, this is just nice, a nice little family outing. And somebody needs to sit with Kingsley. So Anita, go ahead and just watch him. Actually, I think Grandpa will watch him. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and chill. While Kingsley has a good old time. Do it, Kingsley. Oh, so cute. I've actually never used this ball pitch, you guys. Like, never. <laughs> So this is actually cute to get some use out of it. Kingsley is feeling himself. He's like, I am the king of the ball pit. <laughs> he is having a good old time. Oh my gosh, this is so sweet, you guys. And hopefully Kingsley still looks the same when he ages up because we all know how the Sims like to pull the okie doke and you don't even recognize who your Sims are when they go from being a toddler to a child. So... I just want Kingsley to have a good old time. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so sweet. 
Well, I'm going to go ahead and get Kingsley out of the ball pit. We'll get him to blow out his birthday candles and we'll age him up, you guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right, everybody gather around, gather around. We are about to celebrate Kingsley. <gasps> oh my goodness. Hold on, let me get a screenshot of this. Oh my goodness. Just look at that face. Just look at that face. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead. I'm going to... I'm going to edit Kingsley before we see him because I just want Kingsley to look the same. But our baby boy is aging up. Oh, my goodness. So I'm going to do my little edits and I'm going to see you guys in just a bit. Did he age up? Is he doing it? Yep, I think he's doing it. Kingsley has aged up. So we need to select an aspiration for... For Kingsley and he was independent when he was a toddler Kingsley skills as a toddler earned a bonus trait oh wow okay see all Kingsley's bonus traits in the Symology panel so so we're starting out with motor skill level two everything is level two motor social mental and creativity so Kingsley is gonna be our little creative bean and since he was independent I think Kingsley will be a self-assured sim so we'll pick that and I'm going to see you guys after we make him over. Oh my goodness. So Kingsley is now a child, you guys. He is getting bigger. Oh, my little baby. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> Kingsley is definitely uncomfortable. Every time the Sims age up, they're always hungry. So we'll go ahead and just let him get a piece of cake. Yeah, we'll go ahead and let's take a piece together. And then we'll make sure we celebrate him and just say congratulations. Oh my gosh, you guys. Kingsley, he's becoming a fully functioning person, you know. He's becoming a fully functioning person. <laughs> so, I mean, I think this is as good a place as any to leave off. If you made it this far in the video, I just want to say thank you all so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. It helps me and the channel out more than you know. And feel free to subscribe and be sure to click that bell. That way you never miss an upload from me. Also, let me know in the comment section what should Grayson and Anita do for Love Day. And also, which one of those perks at the restaurant should we get so, so we can further our business. But anyway, you guys, I'm wrapping up here. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.